All right, <laughs> and we are back. Another late night here, East Coast, Canada. I was going to do Dwarf Fortress, but I honestly feel like I'm probably going to be asleep in about 20 minutes. So, I'm probably just going to try and get a flight. Because any time I play Dwarf Fortress with you guys on stream, first like half hour, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. And then the chat starts getting like really busy. And I get really into it. And then next thing I know, it's 5 a.m. And I got to be up for work. And it's, uh,. You know, I got nothing wrong with that, but <laughs> I can't do it every night. And hey, Origami, uh, thanks for joining us for Dota. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get him next time. We just had a terrible loss streak lately, but uh, it happens. All right. Uh, let's see. We have the Sputnik up in space. Let's try for a... I guess our next bet would be going for the MUN. Um, let's see if there's any contracts we can pick up for a little bit of quick cash. Uh -huh. Alright. Tourist? Nah. Visual surveys. Crew in flight report below 19,200 meters near Simi's Void. It's a lot of money. Sure. All we gotta do is get over there. Not a problem. Um, we don't need a lot of thrust. Just need a lot of control. Let's go ahead and... Well, I guess we can just build this guy from scratch. Okay. Take that off. Let's get the uh, command pod. A fuel tank. Um, where's my parachute? Oh yeah, we we're supposed to be trying these parachutes out as well, actually. That was another mission we had. Um, is that here? Yeah, test the parachute. Okay, we have to be flying altitude between 3,000 and 6,000 and speed at over 300 meters a second. Well, that's a bit crazy. Let's throw a couple of these on then. Not sure how how well that's gonna work out for us. All right, that on there. Let us get some landing gear. And an engine. Probably want something like the swivel. Uh, it does give us a little bit of um, turnability. That was a word. Okay, we've got our fins on. Lop and aerodynamic. No, oh, it's a little big. Lop a small one on top. Kind of looks a bit silly. But that'll be fine. And I think this will be okay. I don't really think we need much more. Um, probably couldn't go wrong putting some science on here. But... See what we can do. Yeah, let's just try it. Not sure who, who will have piloting it right now. Our pilot is Herpy. Yeah, fair enough. All right. So where is this place on the map? Okay, so way over here. It's actually quite a distance. Okay, navigation set. That seems good. Where's my navigation at? Um, huh. All right, let's try this again. Looking at the map, we're here. Yeah, good luck, Herp. All right, so we want to let's tour east, northwest. So that's our east. We want to be going about this way. Alright, I feel like we probably don't have enough fuel in this bad boy. Why, why can't... Oh, we don't have a pilot, so I can't do SAS. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That ain't good. Alright, well... 
fine. Yeah. It's fine. Not having SAS is kind of a big deal right now. Uh, what do we need to test the parachute? Okay, we got the altitude right. We just need speed of 300 meters. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Just aim down. Done. Yeah, no problem. Let's be speed of 300 meters. Check. There we go. Test the parachutes. All right, we'll see your origami again. It was fun. Um, we're doing all right. It's just a uh, well, Zelfus is a was a bit out of his element playing. Um, Ogre. He only plays a couple uh, heroes well, so that was my fault. He hadn't played Ogre before. Um, probably should have had him on Windrunner, but you know, I thought Ogre was a little more straightforward. He is a melee, though. Uh, aside from that, we just had some pretty bad luck. We have had uh, the last few games, but it's been good. Happens. It's the Dota way. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Um, oh, let's put our landing struts down. Before I forget, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, these parachutes seem to be working fine. Yeah, I'll probably catch you tomorrow night for some uh, Dota action and all that good stuff. Oh man, I yeah, Tinker is a lot of fun. <laughs> when you ever someone says Kamikaze for money, I'm just like Tinker. That's how you do it. Let's go ahead and just speed this up a little bit here, as our drop is really slow. Uh, parachutes are a little too good. So. That's good. It's good they work. And yeah. Nice little landing there. Excellent. Recover that. Complete a easy contract. Small amount of money, but we need to, to build up. Just a little bit of fun going. And next time we'll bring a pilot. <laughs> what regain was you using? So I'm not sure what you mean um, by regain. Okay, war games we can send out, or we could have origami do it. Probably best we have origami. Um, well, leveling up war games might not be a bad idea. So let's go ahead and look at our. Okay. So we need more, more engine for sure. I didn't really want to make this a two-stage region. Oh, for Dota, um, I do U.S. East, U.S. West, and uh, Russia. Cause I don't really care about ping. Um, I did a lot of Dota back in the day with um, it's the mass and those almost nothing with um, Australians. Uh, well, not Dota. We played Heroes New Earth, but similar concept. And um, yeah, I, I just gave up carrying because you're going to deal with a lot of um, lag playing on those kind of servers. It's not the end of the world, surprisingly. Okay. I think we could probably do something crazy like this. This might be a terrible idea. But, uh, hey, what can you do? Let's go ahead and throw some uh, nose cones on. Oh, we can use the bigger ones. And little winglets. Let's get six of them. Alright, we'll call this the hopper. And, uh, the hopper mark one, I guess. What is this like with these down? Oh, that doesn't even reach the bottom. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just need more parachutes. Just put 
them on the uh, side. Right about here looks good. <laughs> this is our hopper. We are hopefully trying to um, not hurt people who want war games in here. Alright, basically, we have a contract to hop a small... Well, not to hop, specifically. To get a vehicle over to a specific part of Kerbal and do a... Um, an investigation. I'll go ahead and show you. So we're supposed to try and get this guy over the Haver. Now we could fly there with a plane, but I don't have avionics researched. So we're gonna just try and hop this little thing over and uh, see if that works. And it's somewhere in this direction, I think. So, oh, well, that's not good. Okay, we got problems. We got problems. Okay, just just relax. War games, calm down. That's what all the parachutes are for. Good. Excellent. Bravo. Um, I forgot to set the stages, so the parachutes just deployed right away. And that was bad. That's alright, we got our money back. Just burn up a couple parachutes, nothing bad. And I'm going to go ahead and slap a science module on, just in case there's something to science yeah <laughs> sorry it was a tactical error made on purpose where's my crew okay I don't know just two well now we have to have three of everything uh, that's annoying <laughs> okay that's better now all the engines are on the same stage Yeah, the shoots, uh, we deployed them too soon, man. That's all. We got our stages set up now, and this one. Alright. There. SAS. Perfect. Full burn. Leads the way, Mr. Wargames. Take the hop or the victory. Uh, I think we're gonna run out of fuel. Never know. Oh no. Oh dear. Uh-oh. War games, come on. You're a pilot, it's your job to just fly straight. Oh no. I'm not sure why I just spasms like that. You're just the worst pilot ever. We're nowhere near it, we barely even moved. Like, <laughs> we, we've gone here. To here. Uh-oh, that ain't good. Are we falling? Yeah, we're falling. War games, you are banned. Absolutely banned. No excuse. Uh, blow shoots. And we'll just gently coast in to the ground. Man, war games is just garbage. I don't even know why we have this guy. Uh, maybe we are going to have to get a plane to get over there. And then that could be an option. I don't think we have plane material. I'm not sure we have enough uh, research points for it. At least we know the hopper lands. That's a good thing. I, I think it's honestly going to be easier to try and get to the MUN than it is to uh, just make a small jump. How much science do I need? planes. 45. We have 42.8. Not there yet. Alright. Well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we did pretty good. Alright, let's see. Um, like, I don't want to make this a multiple... Oh, that was bad. Oh, jeez. No, no, I, I need you back on top of the... No, that's not exactly... No, no, land... Okay, that's fine. Alright. Let's take these off for now. We'll 
make this a more proper uh, vehicle. Alright, that should something. We're not going to need the parachutes on there anymore, though. I hope those decouplers are working. Yeah. Alright. And... Let's not have these swivels. We want them to be... Oh, it's a little too big. I guess the Reliant... Thrust, yeah. Get the more thrust going on. Yeah. The music's pretty amazing, except for when it disappears, and then you reach outer space, and it goes just insane for no reason. Alright, let's try this again. More games that direction, please. Please. Just turn a little bit. We don't have the swivel, so it's really hard to turn this thing. Come on. Just aim down. There. That'll do. Aim a little more down, though. Oh, no. Oh, she's going. And we're, we're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Looks like the ocean, I guess. Uh, hmm. My parachutes are also in very bad places. It would appear. I'm sure this will be fine. All right. Yeah, he's he's garbage. Absolutely garbage. All right, and hopefully parachutes will deploy. He was just waving. Like what a jerk. All right, let's uh See, actually, we might be able to get some temperature readings here. Cool. Hey, there you go. We got our science. We just had to get temperature in the ocean. Oh, sweet mother of God. Why did that happen? Why? I don't... Well, that's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've wrecked a multi-million dollar project. Hi, Mom. Or Ma, as it were, in America. Whatever, we got science, so we can build planes now. Oh, there's some debris out there. Let's go ahead and recover. Recover and recover. Get some money. <laughs> Somehow you broke landing with three parachutes into water. No idea how you've done. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Game may or may not have crashed. <laughs> we'll find out. I think it did. Apparently they don't want us to have planes, which of course makes me want them more. But we'll see what happens. I blame war games. Just fired. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. We should be exactly where we left off, because uh, the game auto saves like crazy. Yeah. So I just need to buy avionics again, or aviation. And let's go build a space plane. Alright. So we get a proper cockpit. Alright, get some fuel tanks. Feeling good. A jet engine. Yeah, that's what we need. Let's get some more fuel. 
Alright. Now we need, uh... Oh, Deluxe Wing Nuts, yeah. Make, a, make an X-Wing. I'm sure that'll be fine. Actually, let's not, because I don't have anything to put on the ground. Uh, small nose cone for the front. Don't need it. Air intakes. Don't need it. Um, radial mount parachutes. Absolutely. Not even a question. And steerable landing gear. Fixed landing gear. Oh. I feel like that's on upside down or something. I feel like these are facing backwards. Is there, is there a way to turn things around? I don't know. That doesn't look right to me though. I feel like I feel like it thinks our plane is supposed to be upside down. Oh, hang on, maybe I gotta build it on this side of the plane. Yep, that was the option. That's what I had to do. Okay. That looks good. Um, I'm not sure, actually, if we, we need two sets of landing gear, but maybe. I mean, this is a plane. I feel like... We can't mess up a plane, right? He lied. Alright. Get some thermometers and uh, some goo. And I guess we'll take the Science Junior along. Could be useful. I lied. I'm not taking the Science Junior. It's too heavy. Alright. Well... This is exactly what planes look like, so um, we'll call it the uh, the Mosquito Mark One, and we'll have it piloted by someone that can fly, not her be your garbage, Mr. Origami. Well, you're a little too useful to kill off the car plane of the future. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Are you telling me don't drive your plane to work? Come on. Oh, okay, that hop actually just gave me a heart attack. I don't feel like that's correct, but... Okay. I think the engine just exploded. Uh, and we're actually being pushed backwards by the... Um... Yeah. Let's, let's try it again. <laughs> Alright. So, we had some problems. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, the parachutes on the... Uh, can we put them on the wings? That'd be pro. No, we can't. We just put one parachute on top. That seems fine. And maybe we'll give, give us more fuel. Just a, another one. Just extend the rear a little bit. Uh, well, that ain't working. I'm not sure what it's trying to do there, but... That ain't it. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, uh... Oof, alright. Let's do our stages properly. Does this engine just always break? What? Why is the engine status flame out? Intake air deprived. Oh, game. We're not doing that, are we? Just bail war games. It's not worth it. Just, just get out of there, man. Or, or just walk along the top. That's fine. Oh, this plane has issues. 
Okay, apparently air intake is important for jet engines. Uh, who knew? Uh, it wasn't in the original, I'll tell you that much. Um, there's a the mosquito, let's recover that. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm beginning to think it is War Games' fault at this point. Alright, let's try this again. Aerodynamics, radial air intake, cool. Pull in outside air to run turbine engines on. Right. This thing's huge. Um, where am I supposed to put this thing? Wow, it is so big, though. Is that right? Is that how the real life works? Oh, I don't know about this. Alright. What else we got? Heat shields? Nah. Tail connectors? Tail fins? Uh, let's try more fuel. Put it on the bottom. Oh, okay. I don't know if we if it'll fit under the. Like, I feel like it's scraping on the ground right now. Maybe if we put it at the front. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. I really feel like that's not. Yeah. I'll just put it on the back here. That'll be fine. All right. And if this doesn't work, we're we're just going to the mun. Okay, well, that jump. Set up our stages again. Okay, we have... Okay, a little bit. Just lift off, lift off, maybe? Can we lift ourselves, though? Oh! Oh! Uh, good news, this thing goes a, a very cool... 37.9 kilometers backwards. Um, yeah. Tell me more. Uh huh. Oh dear. Uh huh. Do we have brakes? I feel like we're supposed to have brakes. Uh, we have a parachute, that's true. Pro. We might just have to build a car plane, because I have no idea how to build a plane plane. <laughs> this is not working, man. We got wings, we got air take, which, I mean, air intake, that worked. Something happened there. The engine exploded, but something actually happened. Come on. Do I actually have to wait for this to fully end so I can recover it. Yeah, um, we can look into that. I don't know if I have the money for it. Hang on. Let's go check. Now, I know Zelfus knows everything about planes ever, and I'm sure he's telling me uh, that I built the plane wrong, and planes shouldn't look like that. But, what can you do? Okay. $75,000 to upgrade. No, thank you. That ain't happening. Alright. Let's try this again. Um, right, let's get rid of these ones. There's no, like, default planes I can, uh... You know, just, like, look at. So I know what I'm doing. Alright. Cerebral landing gear. Two of them. Alright, that looks... Is that backwards? I don't know. Which way is front? Sure, that looks fine.
I know their non-flying is pretty decent. I don't know. The no <laughs> I th I'm sure this is fine right here. That's the Mosquito Mark II. Uh, we're just going to try and drive out of here because I don't know if we can reach lift off. Okay. Um, we'll try it. I might need more engines, maybe. I don't know. Go ahead and throw this in a separate thing and full throttle. Okay, we can we can turn a little bit. No. Well, that was bad. Let's try try that again. Uh. Hmm. Okay, well these these things are garbage. I have no idea. I know how to get in the space. I can do that. Um Rip War Games. Whatever. I'm done with it. We'll just have to realize that we can never, ever, never, ever fly. Uh we just can't do it. So, let's go ahead and load up our Sputnik here. All right. So, yeah, we're going to want basically the same sort of deal. Let's get a base fuel tank of, oh no, make the base here, the uh, command pod. Okay, fuel tank on that. I don't know how much a parachute is going to help us if we're trying to land on the Mun, but whatever. And let's go ahead and get the important stuff on first. Science, important. Thermometers, important. Um, where are they? Goo containers, yeah, we need that. All right. So let's see. I think a 400 fuel tank will take us home. Uh, if we put on something like a, a terrier. Well, it's got a very low thrust actually. Very efficient, but a little too low. So let's put on a uh, Poodle's the big version of the terror. So we'll put on a, a swivel here. We're getting out. I mean, we don't need much thrust in a vacuum, to be fair, to lift all this guy, but... Um... Alright, let's try it. A 200 fuel tank. Put a terrier on there, and we'll call that a day. This will be our final stage. And get some micro landing struts. Right here, how do they look retracted? Perfect. Alright, so that is that. Now, need a decoupler. Anyone who wants to think of uh, the name for our first Mun-bearing vessel, by all means. I don't have one at the moment. Put some uh, rocket fuel on that bad boy. Give this a good old Reliant. And I think that's fine for this stage. And finally, get some radial decouplers. Gonna want about three of these. Get the, the thumpers. The Mun Monster. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Earthbound. <laughs> uh, uh, those are.
those were all ideas. The Metroid, eh, well, yeah. I think Earthbound is a much better game than Metroid, but... Where's my fins? I don't know why I can't find them. There they go. Get some winglets. Oh man, we got the nice fancy winglets now. Some basic fins here. The mundane municipal. Oh my goodness. Stop it. <laughs> uh, we don't have a heat shield. Should we put a heat shield on? Yeah. That seems important. Let's go ahead and put that. Oh, we can't put that under the engine. Put it here. And then we need a decoupler. That's fine. Whatever. Who needs a heat shield? If we make it back to the Kerbin, that'll be that'll be fine enough. Um The Mun Munster. Like that's kinda bad because it's like Munster cheese. The Mun Munster. Oh, it just sounds awful. I feel just like terrible writing that. Alright, let us go ahead and actually save this here, exit. War Games is proven himself to be just garbage. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now. Oh no, I think we know he cannot make it to the Mun. Let us campaign should be somewhere here. Monday's Mun. Oh yeah, the Monday. Actually, I like that. Um, let us oops, save game. Quick save to yes, please. And, uh... <laughs> I'm actually totally okay with that, so let's load the game real quick. I I'm down with the Monday. Where are we here? No, no, no. We are the Monday. The Monday. And the done. Yeah, so we got uh, Zelfus here. He's actually a scientist, not a pilot. We're screwed. We're screwed. I just the way this works is like your um, your name determines what class you are. It has to do with the naming convention. I don't know why that is, but it's interesting. So we took out War Games, put in Zelfus, and apparently he is a a scientist. So, we are completely and totally screwed, because uh, I don't have any help flying this thing. Um, but anyway, how hard is it to throw a large object into space? Probably not that hard. Let's check our stages are good. Okay. Put those together, and put these together. Excellent. And, uh, Godspeed, Zelfus. Straight up, if you don't mind. Uh, can't turn on the SAS as we have no pilot. That's okay. All you gotta do is just go straight up. Don't botch that. <laughs> Sorry, if we make it, we get massive signs. Um, if the ship spins wildly like this, we're not gonna do anything. But... Well, we can set that up, actually. I can set up manual control. Away! Okay, well, uh, we do want to start a gravity burn. That's not how I, I had this in mind. But, uh, yeah. Oh, pull up, pull up just a little bit. That'd be good. Oh yeah, the spin is real. 
Alright, let's go ahead and uh, align ourselves a little bit here. Uh oh. Yeah. Mr. Origami did beat you to it. Oh, if only Zelfus was a pilot. If only. Do we even have an apoapsis? 34,000. That's really bad. Alright, let's just try and get you home. You know what? We're not going to make it. There's no way. Just, uh... Just try and get home. <laughs> try and land safely. In the atmosphere. Oh, that ain't good. I don't know much about advanced space flight, but I know this is not good. Um, so this is why we take a pilot. <laughs> flat out. Because of this. Let's see what Zelfus is seeing right now. Well, he's staring at this, which he can only assume is bad. And then he sees this up here, which is also a bad. Um, but he's, he's kind of complacent right now, actually. He's just kind of like, wow, look at that. That's not good, right? <laughs> good job, Zelfus. We'll have to find out what your uh, stupidity is afterwards. Let's just time warp a little bit as we spin madly to our demise. You never know. This could be untouched territory. Undiscovered lands and Kerbin. Deploy the chute. Might get some sort of uh, cool thing for it. Uh, <laughs> it looks like we're going to fall in this little lake, though. Which uh, we have done lakes before. Well, we've done an ocean. I don't know. Might not count the same thing. Oh, apparently uh, it's Kerbin's Desert, so congrats. Flying at Kerbin, no. Hopefully this counts as the desert right here as well. Let's see, observe materials bay. Yes, awesome, well good job, Zelvis. Your science has paid off. Apparently we are in the desert. And we can get cool things from that. Maybe enough science to, you know, buy a pilot. Who knows? All we need now is you to EVA and tell us what the desert looks like. What does it look like? It's kind of nice out here. You're back in the ship. Would be good. Be good if you could get back in the ship. Would be good. There you go. Climb back on top. Awesome. That's right, yeah. You've already proven yourself better than war games. <laughs> you got something out of all our space dollars. Hey, 27 science. Nice. No EXP gain, though. Oh, well. So, let's review. Um... We need a pilot. Our only pilot is Origami. And I'm afraid to send him up there because he's actually useful and good. Uh, that said, I think, could we make it up there with, um, you know, Origami piloting this thing? Uh, maybe, you know, maybe. It, only time will tell. We could be insane and just I mean, these are cheap. Might as well just, uh, you know, 
we'll take the crazy way about it and we'll just put more of these on. Because honestly, when you can't get up there with the rockets you have, you get more rockets, I think that works, right? That's sciencey. Um, I think that's fine, probably. So this will be the Monday Mark II. Go ahead and save that and check everything launches right. Okay, throw you in there, you in there, yeah, save, and launch. Alright, origami, I'm not gonna lie, this is a giant bomb that we are literally throwing into space. Um, don't die. That's all I'm asking, man. Alright, good luck. Well, that's a good sign. Okay, we're getting a lot of uh, air resistance here. We're going a bit too fast. A lot too fast, actually. We're really not supposed to go anywhere near this fast in this part of the atmosphere. But we're making gains. Uh, everything is really overheating. Uh, a lot. Let's uh, just cool that off a bit, I think, before we proceed. Okay. Oh. Well, that exploded and took our engine. So now we're left with the tiny engine. That is not quite enough for space. I think we would have been okay, though. So let us go to the vehicle assembly here. And we're going to turn down all the engines a little bit. Uh-oh. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, there. That's fine. We're gonna limit their thrust to 70%. Um, this is going to save us a little bit of uh, efficiency. Hopefully, we still have enough thrust to get going. That's true. It's um, I actually don't have uh, invulnerable buildings enabled, so it's possible we can blow up parts of the uh, the space program, which is awesome, but terrifying. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be going slower this time, which will give us less air resistance, and therefore less um, heat. So hopefully we don't explode our solid fuel boosters. We won't get as far as fast, but again, air resistance and stuff, so it's a lot more efficient. Uh, unfortunately, we're still getting a lot of that, uh, but as long as we don't see everything glow red hot, um, that's okay. probably going to be okay here. So we want them about 70%. Uh -oh. Okay. Just everything, everything, just calm down. Okay, that exploded again. Alright, we need to we need to figure out why that's exploding and fix that. The planet blow up once? Really? That is terrifying, dude. So why are you blowing up? Actually, I got a crazy idea here. Let's put a stack decoupler here. We're going to throw this uh, right in here. Alright. So, this should put a shielding around our next engine, which will hopefully protect it. Hopefully. I don't know. I have no idea. I also haven't planned how we're getting to the Mon. I just want to achieve another orbit, and then we can figure it out from there. Alright. I should have put on our SAS. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay. Don't speed up time when you're going like this because I don't think what I just saw was supposed to be the real life. That was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, well we didn't overheat because everything bugged out. Which is good. So first thing, we're going to drop these off. You see they leave. And we're going to decouple that. And there's the engine. <laughs> yeah, origami's a little scared right now. Not going to lie. Alright. Let us attempt to achieve some sort of a gravity turn. Um, that looks good right there. That's perfect. All 
Alright, so we are going to need a sizable apple, apple, apple sauce. Um, I think about 70,000 works, actually. 70,000 is just fine. Let's go with that. Slow you down. And actually, I can tell you just to aim for the prograde because you're pro and awesome. And then 84,000 is a good number. So we will speed up time until we get a little closer to this. And then we will start our burn. Alright. Okay, and that's probably good. Let's go ahead and start our burn. So hopefully we can achieve orbit with just this um, fuel we have here. It's possible. No, it's not. It is not possible. There she goes. She's gone. That's alright. We still have our other fuel. Um, I didn't want to have to use the last engine now. We kind of need it to get to Mun. Um, but that's alright. As long as we... Oof. I don't know. We might just get in the orbit again. Yeah, we just not enough fuel to get there. Alright, alright. Let's just head home. You know? <laughs> hey, Mom. I'm trying to get to the Mun. Unfortunately, uh, the guy in control is kind of an idiot. And we're just going to crash land on the planet again. See ya! Alright, well, good luck. Oh, hang on, I wonder if I can land on this area here. That could be exciting. Right, turn the retrograde and burn. Perfect, yeah, that's where I want to land. Yeah. Check out this biome here, see if it's something new. Uh, and hopefully not die on re-entry. Rest in pieces and all that. Oh dear. Oh, things are on fire. Um. Oh dear. Well, this is bad because the thing that's burning up the most is our parachute. Uh, I'd like to turn around and have that not be a thing. But... Oh well. Oh dear. It'll be fine, Origami. We're landing in the mountains. Everyone knows the mountains are safe. Oh, everything's a little toasty. Um, but that's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, try and turn to our retrograde. Oh, we don't have one anymore. Alright, let's uh, try and pull up a bit. Can we pull up? Yeah, no, we're gonna die. Oh dear. Alright, deploy the parachute. Yeah, it's looking like it. Deploy the landing gear. Everyone knows upside down landing gear is the most effective. Um. Okay, the parachute deployed. Quick, hit the gas. Alright. Excellent. Update mum, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> not today. Maybe tomorrow. Because these legs are really broken. And, uh, they're probably gonna explode. Oh! Oh! Success! Are we somewhere new? Nah, we've been in the highlands before. Ah, well. Okay, if we got temperature in the highlands, maybe not. Yeah, we did. Alright, did we get an EVA out here? Uh, highlands? Let's see. No. 
Okay, cool. Got a little bit of science for it. So, that's it. Uh, so we're gonna need more fuel for that final stage. Um, thoughts. I don't know. We don't have the equipment to do an asparagus stock right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a little bit of science from that. Our funds went down dramatically. Um, so that's not good. Jeez. Okay. We know how to get in orbit. That's not the problem. The problem is the MUN. Um, we could try for just a straight shot there and not achieve orbit first, but I feel like that's a bit risky. Uh, let's see if there's any contracts we can get some quick money on. Um, 34 grand? What do I have to do? Test the poodle engine. Okay, so I just have to activate it flying an altitude of, of 11,000 at 200 meters. That seems easy. What's this swivel jet engine? 7,000 meters. Sure. I mean, I could be wrong in how this works, but I feel like, hang on, I feel like all I have to do here is just get the Poodle engine to space, so that doesn't seem like the hardest thing in the world to me. Oh, it does when you don't have fuel for it. That would be bad. Okay, well... All right, hang on. Let's use our brains here. Let's get a command pod. All we gotta do is get this thing into space. Well, not even space, actually. So that's true. All we gotta do is just get it up and then turn it on. Uh, so we just need Small little... Yeah, that'll do. And then, can we just put it on top? Yeah. That's not what we want, though. Okay, let's figure this out. Alright, let's get the, the small fuel tank. Big old poodle engine. And then just figure out how to get this into space. Okay, girders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might be doing a very bad thing, but I think my science works. So we'll just put some girders out like this, and then, uh,. Some engines on like this. Eh? Huh? Does anyone see what I'm doing here? Sounds good. We'll call this the poodle tester. <laughs> Which just sounds dirty. I don't know why. It's kind of funny. Alright. And then we'll throw on another set of rockets. And then we need like hellacious amounts of parachutes. Like just so many parachutes. Is we need to save all these parts so we don't lose money on this thing. Well, these parachutes are actually really expensive. Uh, Alright, cool. I think this will do. What do I, how high do I need to get up? Altitude of 11,000. I'm, I'm sure this can get to 11,000. 
Alright, who's flying this? Because they might die. I think it's origami. That's Herpy. Alright, Herp. Good luck. Oh, yeah, no, let's not have all the parachutes in the that step. That'd be bad. Alright, here we go. Just gotta get to 11,000. Oh, this ain't good. 11,000. Eleven thousand. Not quite. Oh no, we're still going up though. We might make it. Oh, uh, we slowed down too much. All right. I just need uh, one more set of boosters. That's it. No problem, everybody. I know you're all thinking like, "Hang on, this isn't safe," and I'm against this. Well. It's just like your opinion, man. It's been tested. Uh, yeah, let's set the stages right again, though. Last thing we need is all the stages to be wrong. And to deploy your parachutes when we try and launch. And just, ugh, madness. Alright. Godspeed, Herp. I, like, look at this. This looks really cool and science-y. Uh, you know. Oh, oops. I was trying to check out the aerodynamic forces and I took a screenshot. Okay. I probably should put the aerodynamic nose cones on. I'm not sure if we're even going any higher this time. Maybe. A uh, little bit. I think we need those nose cones, yeah. Let's try and find those. There we go. This is our problem. We didn't properly nose cone it up. Alright, we'll complete this contract and then we will, uh, Probably call it for the evening. Alright. Oh, man, I keep forgetting this at these stages beforehand. This really looks. Yeah, it does kind of look like a UFO. The truth is out there. Alright. Oh, yeah. Who does now? Aerodynamics and stuff? Making good headway? I mean, if we weren't spinning so much, we'd probably go faster, but I'm not sure I can fix that. It's just something we're going to have to get used to. Uh, almost, almost, almost. Can you lift us, little poodle? Not quite. Hmm. Well, we're just about there. Hang on. I wonder if we fire the poodle... <laughs> the ultimate merry-go-round. For sure, dude. I'm wondering if we fire the poodle... Um... Like, closer to the end. Oh, whoa, whoa. Had the stages backwards. That was a little scary. Like, we don't wait till the... Uh, the last second there. Like, the poodle doesn't give that much thrust, but maybe combined with everything? Okay, stop. Stop spinning them. Stop spinning, please. Alright. That's just not doable. It's gonna spin. So we're gonna wait till about 9,500, and then we're gonna hit the poodle. Maybe just about... Let's hit it now, and maybe, no, we, we need you a little more, nah, not quite, I 
All right, here's the, the other possibility. We're gonna take off the poodle, throw in a ton more fuel, just have the poodle going from the get-go. I don't know. No, I feel like that's not what we gotta do. We're literally just putting the poodle up there. Um, more raw, wait. Oh, we were using the wrong one the whole time. Should have been using these kickback ones. Well, there's our problem. Here I thought I was just bad at the game. Nope. Using the wrong part for the job. Oh, this is also why we didn't get you into space. Because we were supposed to use these suckers. Uh, I don't think I actually need that many of them. If I get by with just that. Well, there you go. Now we figured out why we didn't get you to the mun. <laughs> that was easy. Alright. And yeah, nose cones are good. Actually, throw the parachutes on top. Perfect. And uh, again, set our stages properly. Yeah, there we go. spinning a lot crazier than we did last time though. But we are still going up. Yep, this will do it. Nice. See, I had a plan all along. Oh, actually, we're going too fast. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Uh, don't explode. Whatever you do, don't exp No. No, not like this. Well, now we have to fall and also lose a lot of our speed. Um, so our speed is ridiculous. We almost hit orbit with this, actually. <laughs> if I made them split, we probably could have just straight up achieved orbit. Well, this is an interesting predicament we found ourselves in. Let's speed that up a bit. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we need to fall uh, a long way. Because we reached the atmosphere. Unintentional. Oh, we've done a bad thing. Well, I mean, while we're out here, actually, I suppose. We could always be crazy and try to... No, no, that ain't gonna turn. Alright. So it's dropping, yeah, we're dropping fast, yeah. Yeah, we're not... We're actually gonna be, like, way... way too fast to do this. Huh? Alright, hang on. We almost had that. Um, okay, we'll just turn down our engines a little bit. Like 70% thrust. I'm sure that'll be fine. Maybe. Set up our stages again because I always forget to do it before I save. First stage and second stage. Go. Yeah. All we gotta do is make eleven thousand. Uh, 
and not break 400 meters a second, which is going to be the hard part. Can I turn these off manually? No. Well, that's awkward, because we're rapidly coming up to that 400 meters a second. Past it. Jeez. Whoa. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Ballistic missile out. Okay. Yeah. Whatever happened there? Yeah, we need to get an SAS, yeah. Or just more pilots or anything. Just random space music. Why can't I warp yet? On time skip. There we go. Oh, yeah, that rocket could not handle the merry-go-round. Alright. Well, we lost some weight, which is good. Unfortunately, now we're falling at a bad angle. Uh, that's okay. Uh oh. Got it! Nailed it! <laughs> That's how you do it. I had a plan the whole time. Had a plan the whole time. You're all just jealous. <laughs> Alright, so let us fall down slowly. Activate all our parachutes. Ah, look at this. We're professional, and we get to get the, um, the ship back. I mean, that's nice. Yeah, well, now we're out of fuel. That's alright. Parachutes are all kicking in. We're barely moving. Falling so softly. Beautiful. That's how you do it. Uh, Herp, I wish I could make you jump off, but we haven't upgraded our astronauts yet. Which we need to do before we go to the Mun, actually. That would have been a good idea. Uh... It's fine. That's fine. That was an easy 32 grand. A cha-ching. Easy. And they gave us a little bit of uh, science for it, actually, as well. Which, what can we do with that? I don't know where the SAS is. It's not landing. Advanced flight? No, that's where RCS is, though. Where is the SAS? SAS, SAS, Yeah, no, but I, I don't know where that is, though. I wish I could, like, search for it. I think it'd be under, like, electronics, but... Yeah, I know it's not under propulsion. <laughs> Heavy rockets are cool. But not what we need. Oh, we are going to need the fuel systems, though, at some point. Advanced construction. No. Second branch. Yeah, I'm not. I'm honestly not seeing it. Uh, small inline reaction wheel. Like, that's not an SAS unit. Um, I'm gonna Google that actually. 
because I really need it. Or we could just always take a pilot, but... Alright, what do we see here? Controls? Yeah, I know how to use it. Where do I get it? to be oh apparently I need the inline reaction wheel Yeah, Google says this thing right here, the small inline reaction wheel, is an SAS. Um, weird. Apparently you still need a pilot to use it, though. Um, that's alright. It also gets us a Mark I inline cockpit, which would allow us to um, take two Kerpels in the space. Um... I believe. Uh, for example, here, say we did like um, this thing. So we could do something like the Mark One cockpit, and then an inline cockpit right here. So we could take two of us in the space, uh, which would allow us to have the yeah crew of two. So we could go ahead and have Origami fly and. Zelfis BR the scientist on board. Yeah. And I think this is actually what we're going to try and get in the space. Right here. Um, we'll call it the uh, the Munbuster. I forget if Mun has uh, one or two. Oh no, that's right. You got to call it the Munner Lander. The Mooner Lander. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, totally. Alright, so we got Command and Control right here, SAS. Oh, it's so small. Oh, what the heck? Ugh. Alright. So, things we will need. Um. A service bay? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I wonder if we put the SAS in here if that works. I have no idea. I feel like it doesn't. Would that let us put our thermometer in there? Impossible to see. I cannot zoom in. Oh, there we go. Shift. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Sort of. It just sticks on the bottom, I think, yeah. Hmm. Oh well. So, science for sure. Um, mystery goo. Yeah, we need a couple of those. Put them outside Zelfus's uh, pod. Thermometers again outside Zelfus's area. We're going to want some... Which of you gives the better communications? Bandwidth 0.7, 1.2. Uh, this one seems better. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of those on. Uh, right here on the science pod. Oh. 
hopefully not angle it so weirdly. And then we still don't even have our fuel tank after all this. So this will be our, our little terrier. We still don't have the SAS either, but it's so small. Like... Literally no idea where I'm supposed to put this thing. Like, that just looks silly. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do, though. I don't know. I guess we don't, like, super need it, though. Actually, I have you flying. It's true. Alright, let's get four of these out, I think. Right about there. How does that look? Perfect. Um, parachutes, yeah. Let's throw some on before I forget. We got our super duper awesome ones. We just need two. Then, uh. Hmm. Probably on the, the front here, like that. Something. Uh, like one here. One here. Awesome. Okay. So this is our first stage, and it is really heavy. Like, really heavy. But in space, you don't really need a lot. Stack decoupler going. Oops. Okay, let's get some big old fuel tanks. And we'll put a Reliant on there. Stack decoupler. Oh yeah, thanks, man. Let's see, I'm so bad for that. That's why I didn't want to play Dwarf Fortress because I'm always like, oh man, yeah. Just uh, do this stuff here. Put another reliant on. We'll do three of these guys. Four. Four is a bit risky. Yeah, let's do it. And get the uh, the kickbacks. There we go. That is a ship. Okay, engines. Uh, start. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And yeah, I just need fins. Throw on some some fins on this guy. Beautiful. All right, we'll launch it once. We'll see if it launches. And if it does, we will call it a night right there. I should have seen if there was a mission actually to uh, to land on the moon. That's okay. All right, well, it's a good sign we're getting lift. I didn't make these aerodynamic, but that's okay.
surprisingly slow, actually, for this stage. Yeah, it's on money with that. Nice. Yeah, good night, Origami. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn it off right here, man. We did good. We did good. We'll see tomorrow whether that makes it, but it looks like it's gonna. Um, I just need to turn down some of the, uh... speed and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, good night, everyone, and, uh, thanks for stopping by. Had a lot of fun, uh, streaming. Too much, because, again, it's 4.30, and I have to be up, uh, way too early. But that's how it always goes. So, catch you all uh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah, before I go. Shoot, almost forgot. We're going to blow all our money upgrading the astronaut complex so we can perform EVAs now. So, that was expensive, but absolutely necessary. Um, now we can at least embark once we get to the MUN. Um, and fly by the MUN. Fly a vessel anywhere near the MUN for a hundred thousand bucks. Yes. Not even a question. And yeah, uh, good night. Sorry, Origami. I'm a bit long-winded. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, good night.